You probably know the Unity Inspector by heart. It shows you all the components on your selected game object and you can view and change values there as well as assign references. But are you aware that the Inspector has a semi-secret debug mode that allows you to view even more information about your selected object? See this component as an example. It has an internal timer that once it reaches a certain time calls a function that increments the state of the component. Both timer and state are only used by the component itself and therefore rightfully implemented as private variables. In normal mode, the inspector shows only public and serializable variables. To switch to debug mode, just click the little dots in the upper right corner and select debug. Now you can see private and protected variables as well. And you can watch them change life during play mode too. This is incredibly handy to monitor the internal state of an object during runtime without using tons of debug logs. Note though that they are read only. If you want to tweak values during play mode, you should use public or serializable ones. You can also check some more information on Unity components as well, though they are often very similar or even more confusing than helpful. Why does the sprite renderer suddenly have all these values about shadows and probes that you'd only expect from a mesh renderer? Well, that's because these are implemented in the renderer component and both sprite renderer and mesh renderer inherit from renderer. This can be an interesting learning resource about Unity components though. I encourage you to compare some of these in normal and debug mode and try to figure out what's different and why. Make sure to leave a comment if you find something interesting. One last thing about this topic. It can be a bit tedious to switch between normal and debug mode all the time if you use it often. What I like to do is add another inspector window and only this window, change it to debug mode and now we can switch between the two quite quickly and we can also view them side by side if we want to.